Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. I have what here is a beautiful, fully restored 68 Camaro RS SS 396 four speed. And I mean beautiful. We're gonna spend a little bit of time underneath the car just as we are on top of the car. What I do like to do every time when we do these videos is see where we have good paint and we have bad paint. In this case here, I think we have really nice paint. So check this out first. Here's a reflection of the window tag. You'd see that if you came here, all right? Also, you can see what time it is down to the second hand. That's an important feature. And the reason I say that to you is pictures can make cars look whatever they want them to look like. When it comes to HD video, which we're shooting in right now, it doesn't tell a lie. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad, all right? This one here, painted base coat black, all right? Then the stripes were laid on. Then the entire car was clear coated. So that's why you can barely feel the stripes and they'll make the stripes last a really long time. A lot of people paint these stripes on top of the clear coat uh, because it's much faster. It's a lot less expensive than having to clear coat all of the top surfaces of the car again, okay? And it also, uh, those are shortcuts. Here, we didn't take that shortcut. It's done right and this should last you as long as the rest of the paint on the car, okay? Um, also here too, you know what, come on up here. Here's another thing, you go to a car show or whatever, people are gonna be looking at your car. You need to say, wow, this is a really great car. I'd love to take this to a car show. Like, look at that, man, that is just beautiful, okay? I get a lot of flack from people on the net about, you know, hey, you're touching the car with the plastic. The plastic doesn't scratch. We buy anti-scratch proof plastic flown in from NASA via Mars. Yep, that's how it works here and that's how we roll. Anyway, it's made all that up, it doesn't really matter. But what I did want to do is spend a second showing you a couple cool things, okay? I wanted to show you the fit of the door. Camaro doors are notoriously known for never fitting well down here because people put on quarter panels and they don't do the right job. Because it's unibody, it's a little more difficult to work with. In this case here, this spent a lot of time lining up the panels. All new chrome and stainless that I just put fingerprints on. New handles here, new emblems here, the call out for what's under the hood right there. Okay, wrapped inside of here is power disc brakes. BF Goodrich radial TAs. So if you were looking for a car that rolled off the showroom floor that was correct, this car would be very correct, but the only thing is it has radial tires. We could put the belted tire that would have come on during that time, and this right here could be taken to a show, all right? So I talked about the outside of the car being so spectacular. You know, you can see my ugly mug uh, in the paint here, but uh, what I wanted to do is show you real quick underneath the car. Look at this, man. It is so beautiful under here. All new floor pans, uh, cables, brake hose, leaf springs. It's got a Flowmaster dual exhaust. Just nicely done. Everything's been taken apart, disassembled, painted, and put back together again. So it's a nice, nice car. All right, let's take a peek under the hood for a second because uh, at the end of the day, although it looks good on the outside, but just has a six banger on the inside, you may be missing a little bit of the performance that you're looking for. So uh, I would say that in this case here, that is not what we have. What we have here is General Motors Mark IV Big Block V8, somewhere around 400 horsepower, called out as a 350 horsepower. We do the battery toppers on here to make them look a little more authentic. The correct valve covers and decals are around, hood insulation. You can see the new wiring that's in the car, the exhaust manifolds the way they're supposed to be, power steering, power disc brakes. It's nice, you know, it's just, uh, just a beautiful, beautiful car. And when you open the hood at a car show, it just looks great. All right, so dressed up correctly in the RS SS package, we have the blacked out SS tail panel here. A couple spray wax spots. All new chrome bezels here and the taillight assembly. SS cap call out like it's supposed to be, okay? All right. Front and rear spoilers. All right, so check this out. Then the detail back here. The 12 bolt, detailed gas tank, leaf springs, brakes, brake hoses. Look at that, it is looking really nice in here. This is the way to buy a car, man, because you know what? Uh, we restore these things all the time, and it's difficult to restore a car uh, unless you do it all the time for anywhere close to the price that this car is selling for. And the detail that you get with it is great. So this has an Auburn Posi unit in it, okay? What I wanted to show you was the trunk. The trunk is over detailed, meaning that it not only is it splatter coated like it's supposed to be, then it's clear coated as well. So if any water or anything got in there, uh, it wouldn't rust it out. That's what happens with the splatter coat paint. Nobody puts clear coat over it, so it's just like paint on a regular car. If you didn't put clear coat over a regular car, the water would ruin it, okay? 
and that's for the spare if you'd like us to put one in for you. This is nice. So uh, this has uh, the deluxe interior in here, which looks really great. The footwell lighting is working. You say, well, what's the big deal about the footwell light? Wearing? Well, let me tell you what, 99% of them never work. Years later, 30 years later, you don't know how many people's hands have been in the dash of these cars. All the dash has been repainted. All the new bezels here for this. The original AM radios in the uh, here, all right? Has the original 129 miles per hour. This has the factory uh, tack with a clock in the center. Maybe some people refer to it as a TikTok tack. All right, the clock is working. Another great sign about a restoration is like the clocks didn't work when these cars were new. How are they gonna work 40 and 50 years later? This one is working nicely, okay? Console gauges, which are an option. The console itself, another option. And I look around and everything's nice. So what we do for a lot of people is we leave this all nice in stock and then what we do is we put inside the glove box an AM, FM, CD, iPod, radio. Not a lot of money, just a few bucks. And this way you keep the dash all stock and it comes with a little remote. You can put, put the remote right here if you want and, uh, and have all your tunes to take with you, but you leave it all looking, you know, like day circa 1968. All right, so enough of my rambling. How about we go ahead and fire it up so you can uh, hear what it sounds like. Okay, so as we walk around this car, it's got some great authentic pieces, a couple pieces that are not period correct. For instance, the air cleaner. A lot of people love the Cal Induction air cleaner. It was installed on it when, uh, when we got it uh, after the restoration, and we did have it restored by somebody, um, and we just left it on there. It doesn't have to stay on there. We can put the stock chrome air cleaner on there like it's supposed to be with the call out. If you like it, it looks great. Uh, again, it has radial tires on it, which, I don't know, man. They just make the car drive so much nicer, but if you wanted to, we could put uh, period correct tires on there as well. Uh, just let us know uh, what you would like to have done, and we can actually modify or change anything you like on the car. Radio we talked about in there. It's got the big motor in it. It's got a four speed. It's got a 12 volt Moser rear, okay, with, uh, uh, with the 355 Posi. Uh, the factory gauges that we looked at. I don't know, man, it's just great looking. Tuxedo black and white stripes, game over, right? As they say, uh, what now? Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about the 68 Camaro RS SS 396 4-speed.